Greetings. This uh, sort of came to me earlier, so I thought we'd just have a quick chat. <coughs> the saying Christ says, I can kill, I can make alive, I can wound and I can heal. When you see things from an immortal perspective, is as this is a duality is very much I am mort all I am death to all because you can shatter worlds for those that uh, see things or you can explain things in a way that makes things clear to them and you start piercing these veils well, a veil is just another name for a film. It can be like a, a film that's in front of you, which it all is. I like things in black and white, but even in black and white, a lot can be missed. A lot of obvious things can be missed. Take, for example, the rather superb, well in my opinion, a rather superbly directed film Psycho by um, Hitchcock and I'm not going to go over the entire film, just pick out a few key points to this. You've got uh, the first main character is the woman with the blonde hair, don't ask me the character name or the actress's name, that sort of ends rather badly in the famous shower scene. But the nice thing about the Hitchcock is you don't see any gore, you don't see any graphic horror in it. It is just implied. It it doesn't need to be shown. So from that aspect, it's rather nice. But um, this young girl, um, the pressure of the, of the material world around her, how she's going to get herself to, out of a situation. So she comes up with a spur of the moment, sort of not very well thought out plan, and she's chasing a material route, thinking that by running away it's going to be the answer to all her problems. She wants her world to end, which as is quite apparent later in the film, rather horrifically, it does. Now the other character, Norman Bates, is just a normal guy, as the song says. Uh, he's a normal man that is baited by the influence of old cycles. That's why Mrs. Bates Motel, who's very much still alive in his mind, such a major influence on his life. No sign of the father is also shown in that. He's long gone. But uh, so you're left with this archetype character that represents the old world that uh, when Norman Bates through an, a genuine sort of act of kindness. His heart is opened up because he's attracted to this woman. And of course, the uh, devastating revolt, results of the overbearing influence of the past takes its toll in a very ugly way. Notice also in that, that the young girl who becomes victim of a own circumstances, shall we say. She's stolen a load of money. Now, Norman Bates does not know of this, so the allegory and the analogy here is is of untold wealth had he followed his heart and not be influenced by his past, his upbringing and the old Piscean ways, which is represented by the old house, because you're still looking up at it. It still has an influence. But that's, uh, that's one way of looking at things in a very black and white perspective. Now we can go to a colour perspective and we can look at Alien as well. That's very interesting. You discover something that is very different from the way you naturally are. And oh dear. By giving your attention to it and by focusing on it, look where it leads.
very soon that uh, alien will it will hide in the shadows to start with until it has grown then it will sort of cover you I think that's been quite clearly shown in the last year and also in that film you'll see the tail goes around the neck it's acidic blood in this alien it's not going to be very good it's very difficult to break away from and of course it plants a seed which breaks out of the heart it's an alien idea now for those that are seeing this thing going around around it becomes a conspiracy theory because it then leads you down into this cavernous path of horror where you will find many more seeds just waiting to explode and uh, have a direct impact on you and it's going to be a very bitter seed to swallow and it will again lead to devastating results but the key name associated with the whole alien film as an actress and director is Sigourney Weaver. Well, what is a weaver? A weaver in Norse mythology is one of the Norns, one of the fates that weaves the past, present and future. A Sigourn, a Sigourney, it's a short stay somewhere different because you don't want to be dwelling in any of those realms, those alien realms, they never end well. But at the end of the alien film, with the help of something that man creates, creating a bigger version of themselves in that, um, what do they call it, that sort of cargo lift bodysuit thing. I can't remember the name of it, but you get the idea. And it, it, it throws out the alien out into space, as it were, and it's gone. It's, uh, it's another way of... In many ways, the system is probably your best teacher if you are prepared to face it. And again, it's shown in Aliens, it's shown in Psycho, it's basically one character that is facing their own self, their own shadow side. But they're all just little ways of showing it. And again, the story that will should come out of most things that you look at is not everyone is going to get it. Not everybody is going to hear then because it doesn't resonate with them because they have very different neural pathways again with the alien you start going down that way then you're going into a realm of fear of when it is it when is it going to appear again and how is it going to appear what form it's going to be a lot bigger and a lot worse the further and further you dig into that rabbit hole but uh you can do, do what you want. Um, you'll find there's a thing called history. Now, I can give you an I story. They're just first-hand testimonies, and it's over a very short period of time. It's um, interesting as well what comes out. In Scotland, all the mountains are called Ben. It means inside. But I suspect, purely from feeling, that Ben, and now we're thinking of Ben Ben Stone in Egypt. Actually, this is quite an amusing thing that's just come to me. If I were to show on the screen a table with a dildo on it, <laughs> what are you going to think of that? What's the, what, have I, what am I presenting to you? And yet, this world does it with Nelson's Column, Eiffel Tower, Washington Monument, obelisks, it's just this sort of phallus worship <laughs> reality that uh, we find ourselves in, this sort of nightmare scenario. But uh, yes, Ben, coming back to this word Ben, it means sun in Aramaic, so Ben is implying again about, well, and with a phallus as well, thinking about it, it's about going within, it's looking for the inner man in being shown in a very sort of sick and twisted way by this external reality. And I'm sure what I just know and feel 
there's a lot more to this and perhaps that's why I am in Scotland it's things to be unlocked here maybe an external but uh, primarily it is to sort of show myself things really about this reality and then share it I am after all just a messenger of this <coughs> anyway well, we're up to 10 minutes that's, that's only one wanted to just be a short video so we'll leave it there I think and uh, wish you all a wonderful day um, I do hope that you are celebrating Independence Day which in a way that is nothing to do with this external world because that's just an illusion it's far from independence if you were independent would your US tax dollars be being spent on things that you probably don't approve of or agree with so how independent are you it's more I think a, a sort of paying homage to an independence but it's how we see these words and what we hear in these sounds and what perspective we see these things from but uh, it's all just one big joke at the end of the day um, my friend Christine on SNC clearly one of the comment commentators did not get the message and was saying about advocate she heard it as being advocating about drowning yourself which was not what was said at all but uh, the person is saying about kicking a rock well do kick a rock if you so feel the desire to but you will eventually stub your toe and hurt yourself and when you understand a rock um, oh typical place. where I parked I'm gonna have to for that I'd forgotten I'd left the no they've got past didn't need to move after all <laughs> anyway completely forgot where I was yes yeah, so and then the accusation because that person is playing the part now of the accuser and is saying which which is a subconscious way that there's a well, the subconscious part of that person is asking which way do they go. They don't like the message they're hearing, but they're still in confusion because they're not really hearing. So they're still asking which because they are far from their spiritual path. But uh, just listen to what people say and uh, hear their subconscious talking as well. It's very interesting um, playing this sort of observer role it's rather fun <laughs> so yes wish you all a wonderful day um apologies about for the sudden blast of music anyway i think it's time i went off and had a cup of coffee ta-ta for now